Hello and welcome to the ProjectWise Administrator Advanced Accreditation Course on Enhanced Environments. This is part four of a four-part series for the Attribute Exchange section of the course covering Attribute Exchange for MicroStation applications. In this section of the course, the process of creating MicroStation Title Block Attribute Exchange Rule classes, Attribute Bindings, and MicroStation Drawing requirements will be reviewed. The benefits of this feature are, with Attribute Exchange enabled and linked to the MicroStation Tags element, the current metadata stored in ProjectWise will be shown in the drawing after opening. With Attribute Exchange enabled, users can update ProjectWise metadata from MicroStation, reducing time switching between applications to maintain metadata. PDFs created from MicroStation drawings using the Create Renditions command or Scheduled ICS jobs will be generated with current metadata stored in ProjectWise. If using Workflow Rules Engine, the rules can execute an update underscore TB action that ensures MicroStation tag elements linked to ProjectWise change values during state changes are updated. During this course, you will learn Verify ProjectWise Attribute Exchange integration is enabled in MicroStation. How Attribute Exchange works in MicroStation. Create the MicroStation Title Blocks classes and attributes. Set up requirements within the MicroStation drawing. And how Attribute Exchange uses MicroStation drawing tag sets and tags. Now let's look at the MicroStation integration installation. On the local computer during the ProjectWise Explorer installation, the iDesktop integration support for MicroStation applications is required for Attribute Exchange to work. Attribute Exchange supports MicroStation based applications such as MicroStation, Open Roads, Power Products, and others. Unlike AutoCAD and Microsoft Office, there is no separate installation for ProjectWise integrated MicroStation program. MicroStation integrations are normally only delivered through new versions of ProjectWise Explorer installations. ProjectWise Explorer core installations are downloadable from connect.bentley.com under Software Downloads. After installation, verify that the ProjectWise iDesktop integration for Attribute Exchange is enabled. In MicroStation, check if the key in Title Block Update Now is available. Title Block Update Now key in updates the drawing tag values with ProjectWise data. Title Block Update DMS key in updates ProjectWise data with the tags value. When opening a MicroStation drawing from ProjectWise Explorer, right click on the document and choose Open With. You'll notice that there is no MicroStation program starting with ProjectWise integration as MicroStation is integrated with ProjectWise natively. However, ProjectWise integration can be enabled or disabled using configuration files. Now let's look at the configuration variables that can have an impact on how Attribute Exchange works in MicroStation. The first variable is pw underscore disable underscore integration. This variable will enable or disable the ProjectWise integration completely. Always check this configuration variable value in case attribute exchange or other ProjectWise integrations are not working. PW update title blocks always is used to restore an old behavior of title block update, which would occur each time the active model is changed. The new behavior is to remember which models and which files have had tags updated. Tags in previous updated models are not updated again unless new tags are placed or title block update now command is executed. Leaving this variable undefined speeds up performance by only updating tags once per session. Enable this variable if the user wants title block tags to update each time a user activates a model. PW underscore title blocks underscore enable underscore pre-scanning variable instructs the title block module to check if the reference files has any title block before attempting to fetch the attribute values from ProjectWise. 
Leave this option on if there are a large number of reference files, but only a few have title blocks. Disable if all or most of the reference files have title blocks in them. PW underscore title blocks underscore skip underscore tags underscore in underscore references keeps MicroStation from updating title blocks in reference files. Note that title blocks in new reference attachments will also not be updated. This variable speeds up opening a file with a large number of references. Disable if the user wants title blocks to update in reference files. PW underscore title blocks underscore no underscore update underscore on underscore ref reload causes the title block module to not update title blocks in a reference file when the reference file is reloaded, either via the MCM reference polling mechanism or via the ref manager. Enable this if the reference polling feature is used frequently. Then some performance increase can be obtained by setting this configuration variable. This helps particularly when large number of reference files are updated on server, reloaded on client. Disable if the user has tags in the reference title blocks that are maintained for the master file and wants the tags to be updated on reload. PW underscore title blocks underscore update underscore read only causes title block module to try to update attributes and files opened in read only mode. Enable if you need to always force the title block update for read only files. Disable when your workflow does not require the title block updates for read only files. Attribute exchange rules and settings for MicroStation applications are administered within ProjectWise Administrator. Located under the Attribute Exchange Rules node called MicroStation Title Blocks. For MicroStation applications, when creating an attribute class, the name must match a tag set in the drawing with the same name. Attribute Exchange will search the drawing for all tag sets that match any of the MicroStation Title Blocks classes created. For example, a class could be created for a tag set for Title Block information, and another class could be created for a tag set for Station Offset match lines. The attributes contained in the MicroStation Title Blocks class name must match tag names in the tag set that match the class name. To create an attribute, right-click the Attribute Class node representing the tag set. Choose New Attribute to kick off the Attribute Wizard. Enter the name of the attribute, for example, Sheet NO. This will be the name of the tag in the tag set. On the next dialog, click Add to choose the project-wise property type and property to bind to this attribute. For example, for sheet number attribute, it will be bound to the My Company Environment SHEETNO attribute. Once the ProjectWise property is chosen, it cannot be changed. To make adjustments, highlight the property, click Remove, then click Add again. The next dialog will allow formatting of the data. For string data, formatting options are trimming the data of space characters. For date data, the formatting will be how month, day, year is displayed. Unlike Attribute Exchange for Microsoft Office applications, the target objects in the MicroStation drawing have no special links created. The tag and tag set names are the links. The drawing is set up using standard MicroStation native functionality, the attribute exchange process for the drawing is similar to a find replace all command. The exchange searches for all tag sets in the drawing looking to match the MicroStation title block class name. References are also included if the configuration variable is not disabled. When a matching tag set is found, it finds the tags in the tag set that match the class attributes then replaces the value of the tags with the ProjectWise property data. This is repeated until all MicroStation title blocks have been processed. If there were 20 models in the drawing with the same matching tag set in all 20 models, they would be updated with the exact same data. 
For exercise one in this course, we will create a MicroStation title block class and class attributes. From ProjectWise Administrator, we'll navigate to the Attribute Exchange Rules node. We'll expand MicroStation title blocks rules. We'll create a class named title block. If one already exists from previous class segments, we'll delete it. Then we'll create these class attributes and we'll bind the class attribute to the same name, company environment properties. We'll create scale, sheet number, title one, title two, title three, and total sheets. Now let's go into ProjectWise Administrator and adjust the MicroStation title block exchange rules. We've logged into ProjectWise Administrator, expanded the Attribute Exchange Rules node, expanded MicroStation Title Blocks node. There is a Title Block Attribute class existing. We want to delete that. Right click, choose New, Attribute Class, Enter, Title Block, click OK. Now let's create the attributes for the title block class. Right click on title block, choose new attribute. This starts the wizard. Next, first attribute we want to create is scale. Click next, add, change the environment to the my company environment. Find the scale property and click OK. Click next, next, Finish. Now we created the binding for scale. Let's continue to create the remaining attributes. Now we've successfully created the title block class and all the attributes associated. Let's verify our changes in ProjectWise Administrator were successful using ProjectWise Explorer and MicroStation. First, we'll create a new document using the new.dgn file provided. We'll drag and drop the DGN file into a folder with the My Company environment assigned. We'll choose to use the document creation wizard and set the document code to P201975 MCO DRD 3DM RDCH to represent a 3D model drawing. We'll open the drawing in MicroStation. We'll edit the tag value for Title 1 using the MicroStation Drawing Edit Tag tool. Run the title block update DMS key in to update ProjectWise. Then we'll right click the document in ProjectWise and check to make sure that the title one attribute has been updated. We've logged into ProjectWise Explorer, navigated to the P201975 project. We're going to expand the 01 design, roads, drainage and highway, and models folder. We'll drag and drop the new.dgn file into this folder. Choose Advanced Wizard. Select My Company. D for Drainage. RD for Roads. 3D Model. And Church Road. Generate. Let's put a sheet number 002. Next. Next. Finish. Now let's open the drawing with MicroStation. Click OK. In the MicroStation status bar, you can tell that title blocks updated successfully. Here's another indicator that the attribute exchange is working on the file. So let's zoom in to the area where we have the title block. For sheet number, Default value sheet underscore number is still there. That did not update. 
In the title area, it is blank, and that's because we never put any information in. And scale is blank also. So let's populate some information and see how we can resolve that sheet underscore number. In my tags command, let's look at the tag set. We have the title block, scale, sheet number, title one, two, three, and total sheets. We can see that the sheet underscore no does not match the attribute name in the title block class. This is our issue. So let's correct this. Now let's also edit the tags. For scale, let's put 20 to one. For a title, MicroStation, title two, attribute, title three, exchange. Let's put a total sheets of 100. And let's leave the sheet underscore no alone. Now let's run a command called title block update DMS. Run it. And you'll see it says updating project wise attribute values completed successfully. This populated project wise with the information from MicroStation. Let's check that. In project wise explore, let's go to properties attributes and we can see that the microstation attribute exchange title has been populated and the horizontal scale has been populated so let's close this now let's go ahead and close and check the drawing back in let's open microstation let's zoom back in we can see the horizontal scale has been set to 20 to 1. MicroStation Attribute Exchange has been populated for the titles. Now sheet number 002 has been populated. So now we know how to update project-wise from MicroStation and how to validate and correct any attribute exchange issues with tag set and tag values. This concludes part four of four part series of enhanced environments for attribute exchange covering support of MicroStation application. Let's review what has been learned. During this course, you have learned how to verify project wise attribute exchange add on is enabled in MicroStation, how attribute exchange works in MicroStation, how to create a MicroStation title block class and attribute the setup requirements within the MicroStation drawing, and how to link a document object in MicroStation drawing. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.